Hi, my name is Anna, and today I will be presenting my research on the political and cultural underpinnings of Vietnamese American conservatism. The rise of Vietnamese American conservatism is not a new phenomenon, nor is it an unprecedented one. Long-standing assumptions of Asian Americans as an ethnic and political monolith exist and continue to hinder critical analyses of this demographic as a powerful voting bloc. Why is this the case? The development of Vietnamese conservative values motivates my research, which boils down to two questions. How did the Vietnamese American conservative movement develop during the post-war diaspora, and what does this worldview look like today? To gain a deeper comprehension of this issue, I consulted a wide breadth of existing scholarship on right-wing conservatism and the Vietnamese Catholic experience. I also have the opportunity to connect with three prominent figures in the Vietnamese American community to understand how their lived experiences shape the development of their political views. These conversations enhance the strength of my findings, which ultimately illustrate how anti-communism, cultural stoicism, and the refugee experience impact the nascence of conservative values in generations of Vietnamese Americans today. For the South Vietnamese, the abrupt and humiliating fall of Saigon in April 1975 represented a moment of military defeat, cultural loss, and generated considerable animosity towards the North Vietnamese victors. Refugees in the Vietnamese diaspora carried this resentment with them as they resettled in their new environments and connected with others who felt the same. These traumatic war experiences contributed to a conservatism that developed from a robust adherence to South Vietnam as a national homeland, in addition to values of American democracy itself. On the other hand, Confucian philosophy is also an integral part of Vietnamese society through its emphasis on respect, obedience, and a deference to political and familial authority. As a result, Religious traditions with similar philosophies, like Buddhism and Roman Catholicism, have a significant impact on the depth and spread of conservative values in the Vietnamese American community. These complex intersections between anti-communism, cultural stoicism, and intergenerational trauma in the post-war diaspora elucidate why Vietnamese Catholic refugees in particular found Donald Trump appealing as a president. Devotion to polemic national leaders like Mr. Trump illustrates how patriarchal family dynamics and subservience to religious authority intersects with the development of conservatism in the Vietnamese American community. The future of Vietnamese American conservatism, however, is a path rife with uncertainty. More often than not, older Vietnamese Americans are attracted to conservative leaders like Mr. Trump despite his mismanagement of the COVID-19 pandemic, in addition to the subsequent exacerbation of vitriol towards Asian Americans in its wake. Younger Vietnamese Americans, on the other hand, tend to reflect the general attitudes of their millennial and Gen Z counterparts, as they're inclined to have more liberal political views than their elders. Over the past year, the COVID-19 pandemic catalyzed yet another wave of xenophobia in the United States and triggered an uptick of anti-Asian violence across the nation. A deeper understanding of Vietnamese American conservatism and its impact on our community first demands a confrontation with significant levels of anti-communist and anti-Chinese sentiment present in areas of professional and personal discourse. Hope for intergenerational unity in the face of extreme adversity is promising and exists as one way forward for Vietnamese Americans and the Asian American community at large. I would like to thank Dr. Joe Lowndes and Dr. Dung Vu from the Department of Political Science for their guidance and continued support of this research. Thank you for tuning in to this video presentation and enjoy the rest of your day.